this was a fluke. Positive thinking tonight from a Pittsburgh mother put through the ringer on a flight to Honolulu. Her family's first vacation in three years wound up making national headlines. We talked to her about getting in the right mindset before heading back to the Berg. And that's what I kept telling myself. And I kept saying, God's with us. We're going to get on this flight. We're going to go and enjoy ourselves. It's been three years since we've had a vacation. So we made it. With a drink in her hand, warm sand and blue water in the distance, Pittsburgh mom Maria Denunzio Kransky needs to relax after this. Mayday, Mayday, United uh, 28. Her entire family watched in horror as the plane's engine caught fire. You heard this loud bang. Then people sitting across the aisle started yelling. Somebody get the flight attendant, it's on fire. A flight attendant came running down the aisle and then she ran back up towards the cockpit. She tried to keep her three little ones calm while people across the aisle shared pictures of this view. They could see exactly what was happening. So they started taking pictures and they immediately were like airdropping them to people on the airplane. She doesn't remember how long the chaos lasted, but said her family's destination for paradise quickly changed to reaching the ground. I could still see the ground. So I knew that we were only 10 minutes in the air. And at that point, if they can, they, they can land safely, then go for it. Get me back to the ground. The 231 passengers soon learned the plane engine blew out, but a safe landing could still happen. Everybody on the airplane came together and just knew that we had to stick together and stick through it. And that's all you could do. And they made it turning around just in time. The fire department waiting on the runway. Yes, everybody was cheering and clapping. Signs of relief at that point. Her family eventually made it to Hawaii, but that upcoming return flight brings back feelings of anxiety. So she's telling herself this. This was a fluke. This isn't going to keep happening. It was, this doesn't typically happen. It was definitely a fluke, one time thing. And that's what I kept telling myself. And I kept saying, God's with us. We're going to get on this flight. We're going to go. And the NTSB is still actively investigating. Thankfully, none of the passengers or crew members were harmed.